Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Frail TV! Our subject for today is Math 4, Quarter 3, Week 6 Milk Base Let's learn about Estimating Elapsed Time Lesson 2 At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Estimate the duration of time in minute Hello kids! Today, we are going to learn how to estimate the amount of time spent in an event or activity. In your previous lesson, you have learned that elapsed time is the duration of the length of time an event happened. We can find elapsed time using a number line or counting the number of seconds and minutes from the time the event started to the time the event ended. You can also find elapsed time by subtracting the time started to the time ended. Let us first analyze the problem below. Aliyah jogs every day around the village. This morning, she started jogging at 6.12 a.m. and ended at 6.48 a.m. About how long did she jog this morning? Answer the following question. What time did Aliyah start jogging? Correct! She started jogging at 6.12 a.m. What time did she finish jogging? Correct! She finished jogging at 6.48 a.m. What is being asked in the problem? Very good! About how long did she jog this morning? How will you solve this problem? Estimate the elapsed time. To estimate the elapsed time, round the minutes in the time ended and time started to tens. Then, Find the difference. Study the solution below to find the answer to the given problem. Actual elapsed time. Time started 6.12. Time ended 6.48. And now, let us find out the estimated elapsed time. To estimate the elapsed time, round off the minutes to the nearest tens. The minutes in 6.48 is... 48 minutes. 48 minutes is nearest to 50 minutes. So round 6 hours and 48 minutes to 6 hours and 50 minutes. And next, time started is 6.12. The minutes is 12 minutes. 12 minutes is nearest to 10. So round 6 hours and 12 minutes to 6 hours and 10 minutes. And then subtract 6.10 from 650. 650 minus 610 equals 40. The total estimated elapsed time is 40 minutes. Therefore, Aliyah jog for about 40 minutes. And now, try to do the following activities. Learning Task 1. Complete the table by finding the elapsed time. Number 1. Time started is 11.19 p.m. Round up to the nearest tens. The minutes is 19. 19 minutes is nearest to 20. Round up to 11.20. Next is the time ended. 11.44 p.m. 44 minutes is nearest to 40. So it will become 11.40. And then, subtract 1140 minus 1120 equals 20 minutes. So, the total estimated elapsed time is 20 minutes. Number 2. Time started, 4.58 p.m. 58 minutes is nearest to 60. So, round up to 5 o'clock. Time ended. 
5-6 p.m. 6 minutes is nearest to 10. Round of 2, 5-10 p.m. And then subtract. Subtract 5-10 minus 5 o'clock equals 10. So the total estimated elapsed time is 10 minutes. Number 3. Time started 11.15 a.m. Round of 2, 11.20. Time ended 11.46 a.m. Round of 2, 11.50. Then subtract 11.50 minus 11.20 equals 30. So the total estimated elapsed time is 30 minutes. Number 4. Time started 9.13 a.m. Round of 2, 9.10. Time ended 10.15 a.m. Round of 2, 10.20. And then, rename 1 hour as 60 minutes. 10 hour becomes 9.60. Add 60 and 20 minutes. It will become 9.80. Then subtract 910 from 980. 980 minus 910 equals 70. Therefore, the estimated elapsed time is 70 minutes. And number 5, time started is 622 p.m. Round of 2, 620. Time ended 655 p.m. Round of 2, 7 o'clock. Rename 1 hour as 60 minutes. 7 hour becomes 660. It will become 660. Then subtract 620 from 660. 660 minus 620 equals 40. Therefore, the estimated elapsed time is 40 minutes. Learning Task 2 Find the estimated and actual elapsed time in the problem below. Mikey started eating her breakfast at 6.35 a.m. and finished eating at 7.03 a.m. So find out what is the estimated elapsed time and the actual elapsed time. Here is the solution. Actual elapsed time. Time started 6.35 Time ended 7-3. And then, find out the estimated elapsed time. For time ended, the minute is 3 minutes. Round of 3 to 10s. It will become 7 o'clock. For time started, the minute is 35 minutes. Round of 35 to 40. It will become 6-40. Then rename 1 hour as 60 minutes. 7 hour becomes 660. Then subtract 640 from 660. 660 minus 640 equals 20 minutes for estimated elapsed time. And the actual elapsed time is 28 minutes. So therefore, the estimated elapsed time is 20 minutes and the actual elapsed time is 28 minutes. Remember, to estimate the elapsed time, round the minutes in the time ended and time started to tens. Then, find the difference. Kids, do you learn a lot from this lesson? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!